there was this online craze thing called the Harlem Shake. It was sort of like something that Alex Zane introduces clips of in 18 months' time, but now and on the internet. You go to YouTube and put in Harlem Shake, and you'd see like a big room, and it'd have all these people in it. And none of them were doing anything apart from like one person who was sort of dancing a bit. And then the music would go all excited, and suddenly everyone was dancing like they were crazy. It was literally that amazing. It's better than Gangnam Style, because Gangnam Style looks better, but it's harder to do. Like with Harlem Shake, you don't have to learn anything, you just sort of go like that. Brilliant. Everyone's really flailing around, which is funny. And they're wearing silly things, which is funny as well. People say Stuart Lee's funny, but he's never done anything as funny as that. And he never will. Once you'd seen one video, right, you had to see another. And the good thing was that everyone was uploading their own versions, right? So you got to see what it looks like when people in different rooms suddenly all dance. It was amazing. You'd see like a big room of people and then they'd all be dancing, which was fun. Or sometimes you'd see people all outside and they'd all be dancing, which was probably more fun. And then you'd see people in an old folks home and they'd all be dancing, which is funny because they're old. And then you'd see another one in an old folks home and you'd be like, okay, I've sort of seen that. Sometimes you'd see like all war men with guns and stuff and you'd hear the music and you'd think, no way, no way they're going to do the mad dance. That would be mental. But then, right, they do it anyway. It shows even men who've been trained to kill and have been handed implements of death by the state still like to let their hair down. They could probably do it as a victory dance, like on the battlefield, over the bodies of people they've killed. And the music's quite loud, which would drown out the screaming. And there were loads of people doing it in offices. And at first you're like, OK, huh, yeah, that's really funny, you know? But then after a while, you start thinking, hello, the economy's sinking. How exactly is this supposed to help? It's all well and good waving your arms around with a funny hat on. But at the end of the day, you've got a job to do. We all have. So pull your weight. Stop fucking dancing and get back to work, you selfish Harlem Shake bastards.